Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the third episode of the Cuban vlog. Now, I'm not gonna waste too much more time with an intro. We're just gonna be picking up exactly where we left off last week. Um, as you guys already know, we were just walking through the city, talking to people, seeing the sights. And, um, and in this episode, you know, we're gonna just be doing a little bit more of the same and uh, we'll see where the day takes us, all right? So without further ado, Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show and please stay tuned to the end of the show so that way um, I can give you a lot more context to a lot of the stuff that you saw today. So again, uh, without further ado, here's the trip. I mean, I've been to other colonial cities in uh in florida and in other parts of uh the caribbean and stuff like that but my goodness again i've only been here just a few hours and it's just incredible not just the architecture but like the statues like that thing up there you know um even even the weather even the weather the clouds the everything the, the, the buildings you know the massive insanity of what these uh you know old gothic baroque buildings i have no idea what kind of architecture this is so don't be quoting me and you know correcting me because i know i'm probably wrong but it's like this city really has not been touched by jack shit for forever and um it's incredible look at this thing let's just check this out and there's a lot of construction going on because there's a lot of renovation there's always renovation that's what i keep hearing look at that who's that is that jose martin oh no cespedes Look at the whole colonial garb he's wearing and everything. Interesting stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, this uh, walking tour of uh, Old Havana. Look at these. Uh... Wow, I can't wait to go see over there. I'm waiting for Christian. She's fucking taking pictures on the other side of the... Awesome stuff. Check this out. Look at that. That's supposed to be like a fort. I'm like back in the day. That's so cool. And I think in Malecon is uh, right over there. That way. See the water, the ocean. Good. Wow, cool stuff. Que bella, que bella esa. Ese es el. Cámara. Para sacarte fotos de la cámara. Pero que, vas a ir adentro, adentro. Bueno, estaba grabando video. Alright, my friend here, my amigo here, but he's gonna go inside for us and he's gonna film a little bit, alright? A little restricted area access. Okay. Ya, punta ahí, arriba. Punta y dispara, ya tú sabes.
wow. El gobierno de Italia. Vamos, vamos a cruzar para la, la ver el agua. Wow. I'm not quite sure what that guy was able to record, but um, he, he worked at the museum. The museum was already closed and he offered to um, just film for me. I hope he filmed. I hope he was able to film something. When I got the camera back, it wasn't turned on. But, you know, regardless, um, that was really nice of them. Really, really nice. It looks like it's about this fucking storm like a motherfucker. So, look at that. So beautiful out here. Look at the people fishing. So beautiful. It's so surreal. It's so many, really one of the first things that the taxi driver told us when we were coming in here from the airport was like how this country is just full of constant contradictions and I mean he, he that, that was the most truest thing that he could have said pause I mean for reals I mean it, it's it's crazy insane let's go check out the ocean here look at this massive seawall that the Spanish built eight kilometers long called a malecon oh it smells so good que rico it smells like the oceans Trying to get that grouper, trying to get that big ass fish. Cool. Look how beautiful it is on the other side. Hey guys, we've already finished day one of uh, hanging out in uh, Havana and it was uh, really, really fun. I, I tried to film as much as I could, but um, I was just enjoying the sights so much. It was really, really hard to film. But anyways, we're back home. We're hungry, right? You hungry? Yeah. I'm thirsty. You know, I want to have some, some beers, some alcohol. So we're going to go downstairs, literally downstairs, the bottom of this place right here. And uh, we're going to go in... Uh, get some drinks and get some Cuban food and we're gonna take you guys with us, all right? Now, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a, um, a caveat, I guess, you know, just wanna give you um, a heads up on the sound. Sound might be a little off because I'm not gonna be taking that big ass microphone 
but um, I'm definitely gonna be taking you guys with me and uh, it's gonna be fun. Sorry she's a little out of focus. I'm using my big pro lens here. Hold on, let's put her in focus. Look how beautiful she is. Look at that. Wait, she in focus? There. Hold on, hold on. Let's get her in focus. Look at that. Oh shit. I'm Hell ready. yeah. You ready, you ready. It's like, you hungry? Yay. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get to eat. Um, I already showed you guys the apartment in another video, um, so we're just gonna go get something to eat, cut it here, and uh, we'll see you downstairs. Let's go get that food. says me better food you know better a better better, rabbit. better you know rabbit better croquettes better mojitos but you know that that seems to be like a thing that is kind of common out here in Cuba that everything is awesome but the food and the drinks aren't necessarily the greatest but again if you're out here in actual communism you know you, you should actually be asking yourself like damn how the fuck do they keep all this shit together with that so all right, guys, we're going to call it a night. It's been a long night. We already had a, a few drinks, and uh, that's it. You know, we're going to get some rest and uh, 
see if we can start all over again tomorrow. We have a lot of things to do. And uh, I hope I hope I was able to record some of the stuff over there. I might have to have just put some music behind it because uh, I realized that there's a lot of uh, popular music. Remember Guitar Juan? Well, I noticed it. And uh, yeah. Cheesy music. Cheesy music. You already know that. This is no cheese zone, all right? All right, anyways, I can see the cheese coming out my ears. Guys, thanks again for watching today. I don't know what the hell this is going to be a part of, if this is going to be a part of a bigger video, or we're just doing a video on this, or whatever the hell we're doing. But, you know, I'm just keeping the camera on me, and especially her, because, you know, that's really what you guys came to see, right? You guys came to see her, not me. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, as you guys saw, we were still walking through the city in this episode. Um, we made our way uh, to a fort um, that is like a museum and you know, we wanted to you know, go in there and explore it, but they were actually closed. And um, the reason they were closed, it wasn't because we got there too late. It was because they closed early due to the fact that because of the oil crisis, you know, again, if you want more context to that, just look at episode one. But if you guys aren't aware, um, from since the beginning of September of 2019, there's been an oil crisis uh, going on into, in Cuba because Venezuela supplies Cuba with all its oil. And because of the whole United States embargo and all these other things going on, um, they haven't been able to get any oil. And uh, by the time we got there, um, it was already late September. And... Um, you know, the, the crisis was already starting to show um, its uh, ugly face, meaning that museums would close early um, due to, you know, they couldn't afford to keep the power on. Um, uh, there was very, it was very hard for people to uh, get transport around the city and just so many other things. Now, um, th you know, that we didn't, I didn't find that out until later on, okay? So, um, you know, when I was there the first day and we were still talking, I still had no real idea as to why that was, or maybe I did, but I don't think I did. And, um, and then later on, I found out a little more about that. Um, you know, when it came to that, I think we found out later. Now, when it came to the restaurant we went to eat, you know, by the time we were already, you know, hungry enough to eat dinner, you know, we didn't know really where to go. It was late at night. Um, and um, the person that rented us the Airbnb recommended us that we just go to the restaurant downstairs. And, you know, it looked good. It looked amazing, you know, from the outside of it. And um, I'm st I was still a little green when it came to, you know, the whole Cuba scenario thing. So I, I completely... Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> I completely forgot that there was, uh, you know, um, state-owned restaurants in Cuba, and um, so and, and and I had no idea which one they would have been. So that one that we went to, the one that you just saw there, you know, that was uh, a state-owned restaurant. That's why they served the kind of food that they did. That's the way it looked, the way it looked, and so on and so forth. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the owner operator of that restaurant is a Cuban government and all those employees there work for the Cuban government. And you can just, again, uh, figure it out from there. But again, you know, we're going to be talking more about those things. We're going to add more context to a lot of these things in other episodes that I might not necessarily be relegating or you know leaving for tuesdays but you know on just my regular episodes that i talk about you know politics and 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 all these other things throughout the week um i'll probably be talking a little bit more about that you know and um and show some more footage on that because you know these are all very interesting uh observations that i made when i was there again you know the 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 most insane thing to me about going to Cuba was how exactly the same it was to the U.S. That's the scariest thing to me. You know, how the U.S. and Cuba were very indistinguishable in many, many, many aspects. But again, we're going to save that for another episode. We'll talk about that at a later date and time. Um, again, um, you know, today's episode was a really... Um, you know, just really cool, just putting a cap off, you know, to the first day of our adventure. I still have a lot more footage that I need to edit, that I will edit, so that you guys have tons more fun videos for you guys to watch about my Cuba adventure. Not just here in Merida, um, but also Cuba. And, you know, soon after Cuba, we're gonna see where else we're gonna go. We're gonna keep exploring and traveling and all that stuff because not only am I enjoying it, so are you guys, and well, it's turning into a thing, so. You already know what's up. Um, so, yeah, guys, well, I mean, I guess this is where I end it all. So, or end this episode anyway. So, thanks again for watching. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. I want to give a big shout out to every single one of my supporters, every single one of my viewers, every single one of you, period, end the story. Um, if you like this, you already know what to do. You know, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Let's continue the conversation. If you want to continue and you want to join this uh, um 
this uh, community that we have you know uh, there's a links at the bottom to join the discord you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on all kinds of social medias see you guys manana don't forget we have a wednesday live stream where we talk about crypto politics a bunch of other stuff so we can be discussing this episode amongst other things and um you know again we do monday motivation tuesday every single tuesday stay tuned you know for a cuba upload and um you know sundays we do weekly recaps and uh you know just you know, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we talk about, you know, whatever's happening in the world, you know, whatever's happening, you know, in here in Merida. There's all kinds of content that I cover on this channel. So please feel free to check out the rest of my channel so you guys can see, you know, all the other fun stuff that um, we talk about here. So, you know, again, thanks again for watching and uh, see you guys mañana. Peace. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining me and uh, we'll see you guys mañana. Peace. So look, we finally got our first change. This is the Cuban peso money. So this was six pesos, so I don't even know what the equivalent to that would have been. So that's peanut butter with peanuts. Mmm. Oh. Alright. Mmm. Very good. Holy shit. Bueno, entonces por cuatro por un dólar, ¿no? Okay. Oh. ¿Tú, tú, ¿Tú no tú quieres? ¿Tú tendrías el... ese cambio para, para ponerme cuatro? Cuatro mm. se usted.